have the heart, liver, so we've got three lobes, left and right, and the medial, and his teeth have cut through mine. Uh, <laughs> ow, time to pause. <laughs> that is a sharp tooth shark. That's called a blooper. Uh, there's the, if we can tilt it over, the gallbladder at the end of the medial lobe right here. You can tell it's kind of green. Here they've injected it with yellow latex. Uh, we have the bile duct, which is going to run down into the start of the small intestine. Uh, and then we have, uh, is it cecal artery? Somebody have a map in front of them? And whatever that artery is that runs through the middle is right here. <laughs> Stomach. And we have... It's spleen at the end of the stomach and pancreas next to it, right? Spleen, and then pancreas. Intestine, and they sublabel it, right? Do I want them as the first part? Yeah. They probably do. In which case, it's just right where it attaches to the stomach. Uh, if we go underneath, going to the side, here... Is a testy. There's one on this side too. And we have the kidneys run underneath this tissue right beside the spine. So they're right here. Ugh. It's just latex. Gross latex. Uh, and yeah, those are the big parts. What else did I miss? Anybody got a map and know what I didn't? Mention. <laughs> What's that external stuff we said that distinguishes male and female? Oh, claspers. Right. right here. So that that is the first thing I look at. Oh, there you go. Done. Also, the females are much bigger. But, uh, I mean, I guess we could get a female that was smaller. This is a particularly large male. <coughs> That's What's good. Thank you. Oh, thank what did I do? I'm sure I, I missed some things. I'm just going off memory. Uh, rectal gland I missed. That's it right there. Uh, there's external structures too. I don't remember what we need, right? Gills, mouth, parts of the head, nares, uh, pectoral fins, dorsal fins on the back, anal fins, claspers, uh, cloaca. Yeah, there you go. That's a shark. Uh, and Mr. Frog, Let's, I'm going to move the shark out of the way. Tuck his liver back in. <laughs> Don't want that lost. I'm going to need a probe point on this one. If you don't want to listen to me talk, you can just grab one and look at it and make sure you know all the parts because you're going to be exam examined on this very soon. So, uh, All right, so here's my frog. Go with the easy stuff first. We have the heart here. If we tilt up everything, there is the lung right there. If you lift up the liver, you'll see it on either side of the heart. It's very dark in color and kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain its texture, but that's it right there. I'm, I'm moving it. Okay, we'll put it back, back down. Uh, we have the lobes of the liver here. The stomach right there, big and muscular. That's going to lead into our intestines, which on this guy are pretty well hidden. But, uh, this was a very uh, happy frog. He's got lots of fat bodies. That's all this stuff. That's all fat body. That kind of fingery looking stuff. So if we get some of that out of the way, then you can see the intestines below it. Maybe. Jeez. Uh, there we go. 
there are the intestines there. Um, and this is a girl. And there you can see the oviducts. The ovary is going to be right at the top of that. It's, wow, it's really up there on this girl. So all the way up there. Is that the only way you can tell the difference? Uh, on the outside, right, the guys have those little hooks oh, wow. on their feet. Is it on the feet? Yeah. Uh, that's it, right? You can find ovaries or you can find feet. The ovaries I can never find. It's the ducks that you can see because they're all this long, squealing line. That's what gives it away. Uh, I'm not going to do external structures, I don't think, because... Yeah. Uh, all right, starfish. This starfish really pretty well intact. Uh, I didn't butcher it too badly. We have the two stomachs, right? It's uh, pyloric on top, cardiac below, right? So this one's actually, this, what I'm holding up, this very thin membrane, is the bottom half of the pyloric stomach. The top half is attached right here. And below it, this more meaty section, you can see it, it's more bulky, is the cardiac. This is digestive glands, and if we pull them up, underneath are the gonads. This one doesn't have very many gonads, actually. Here's some gonads, right there. Are they different color? Um, the digestive glands are very greenish orange, and the gonads are very red. They they look they except for the fact that they're not connected to the stomach, they look very similar, but they extend into the arms, whereas the cardiac stomach is just in the center. So here's cardiac stomach, and then just below it are going to be your gonads. I might actually cut into this guy on another arm, see if we can get some better gonads. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. So, here are the gonads. That one worked out perfectly. You know, on either side? Yeah, that one turned out great. Hopefully the starfish I dissect later today will look this pretty because that's what's going to get used on the practical. It might just uh, I'm tempted to use this guy, to be honest. He's in such good shape. Well, except for the glands I just tore out. Otherwise, he's in great shape. Okay. Um, do you really want me to go through the parts of the crayfish? There's only like four of them, right? Well, the heart's like, already gone. Whatever you're going to put on that exam. Gills are here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't even really see anything in there. There's, there's not a lot. You can see the gills, that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the gills, well, the, the, the gills, heart you're like never going to see. Them. The brain isn't bad uh, if, you, if you bother to open up the skull. And then this is, um, oh, it's one of the digestive glands. I, I need the picture. But uh, I don't have it immediately in mind. We'll go over to the earthworm and while well, I try and remember that. Ah, perfect. So I've already, I haven't done the Ascaris yet. I have the clam worm, which only has essentially a pharynx, which is right here. It's a very muscular, and that's attached to its extendable jaws there. And then I have the earthworm, whose main parts are pretty easy. Uh, Along the digestive tract, you've got, uh, you know, mouth and then pharynx and pharyngeal muscles, which are right here. Uh, I forget the order of everything. We've got uh, crop in here and then uh, intestine by the time we're down here. And there should be some CK, right? Some glands. Some uh, pyloric CK, maybe. I uh, I haven't studied yet for the exam either. <laughs> uh, now you're seeing what I know offhand. The, they come later in the chapter. It's after the crawfish. Alright, segmented worms. I know it's after the nematodes and after the mollusks. Oh no, it's before echinoderms. It's alright, everyone else can look at their own picture. That's that's the scars. It, it's like five pages at four pages after that or something. 
But like I said, everyone else can look at it on their own. There you go. I pointed out as much as I want to point out. I have <laughs> models of everything. I have dissected specimens of everything except the clam. And I haven't dissected the nematode yet. If you really need to see the inside of the nematode, I'll go ahead and chop them up. Um, they are, besides the intestine, almost nothing inside there is findable. Just because the heads are so small. I'll do my best. Um, but they're really tough. So the, these are pretty much the live specimens we're going to have, right? Yes. Uh, and these, they'll also be the clam. And I haven't done the squid yet. I actually better cut the squid. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside let you guys look at them while I chop a squid to pieces.